TikTok, we turn back the clock with a former member of Donald Quarry's Manning Cup team who's made a name for himself outside of football. This week's memories of the cup belong to Kamar Otti, a.k.a. Ding Dong. Jamaica, to the world, all the Caribbean, this is Kemar Ding Dong, Otti, Ravers, Clavers. Um, here talking about football and Manning Cup season. Used to attend the Donald Quarry Comprehensive High School. And my final season was in 97. I guess that's the same year. That's the same year Morning Cup season has, was born. I'm a midfielder. I play, sometimes I play, you can put me in different positions except keeping. And I play. I'm, I'm a good stopper, a good sweeper. And I play midfield well as well. Yeah? Um, I'm used to a system, a systematic football. From Donald Quarry days, come through to Santos, through to Vineyard Town. So it's, it's basically a system ball game, it's not just like a pick-up ball game and to play. So I understand the, the fundamentals of football from a very young age. Living in a ghetto, you know, Nannyville, um, grew up and you see a man like Walter Boyd play football and you come from a ghetto. Sometimes living in the ghetto, to try to find a loophole the, your, your way out of the loophole in a, in a ghetto, you have to find somebody where you can pay respect to we a whole upper community. Like Walter Boyd used to use him skill, you know, and Walter Boyd was our biggest influence at that time. So seeing Walter Boyd play and knowing that Walter Boyd come from my community and could do that, that's how I get the love of football. Last season playing Manning Cup, it was 1997. It was, it was good and devastating because we had we had like we had like the one of the best teams in in in, in, in Manning Cup that year. Donald Quarry Comprehensive High School. I can state this for the record and I can go and check it. You see me and doing the research, all in the sports fanatic can go and check it. Nineteen ninety seven, Donald Quarry had one of the best football teams in schoolboy football. Yeah? Um, we was the season was early. It was three, we won three games of three and we was getting ready to play um, the fourth game, fourth match at Arborview Complex. When we saw a coach come inside, I cry. Mr. Sanders, body coach, schoolboy coach to me, you see me? He come, come in and I cry and say, the league ban until further notice. Yeah? And everybody did shock. Because we said, oh, Manning Cup fake. I know Manning Cup them time there. I had a dream for we as school youth to play. Cause some of the money made up on the, 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 the team never educationally inclined to the fullest like a CXC and five subjects and ten subjects. So that way not for the dance, not for the, the, the bar them did I look forward to forget out of which part them I come from, you know? Manning Cup. And Manning Cup was like the first stepping stone I would know apart from primary league. Manning Cup was like the real stepping stone to National League or to Jamaica under 20 or something, you know? And when we hear the band that hear it, like everybody just mash up and heartbroken by the whole situation. And um, I think I didn't even want to go in too much about it, but because some of the players couldn't play at that time because their reasons. And it caused one big chaos, so they just banned everything. Robert Scarlett, I don't know, my brother that said we Karim Cook. Robert Scarlett was a star player um, at that time, leading goal scorer. Down quite at that year. 50 Cent, um, Naka, Thiele, um, Omar, Rusty, a bag of people, Zevon Clark, the keeper, the biggest goalkeeper at them time there. Um, Richard White, Snaga, you see me? Could have named out a, a, a few more, you know, but it goes on. This came in a memory box right now, so you see me? We just have a, 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 a good, fun loving team and family like atmosphere, you see me? My, my, my last year of football, I went to play Major League for, for Vineyard Town and we had advanced from Major League to, to, to A League before it called Super League now. It was, it was known as A League and then I was, I was playing the finals against Barbican, the second leg. And I tell my coach, I'm not playing more football, I'm going to try something different, I'm going to try with dancing. You know. Everybody thinks I'm a joke, but because I just, if you get an injury at that time, I'm only never in a football. 
play in Major League or anything. You have to play for the national side, Jamaica side, or you have to play National League where you can see him come every month and anything. But whenever they get the money, I play Major League. So the Vineyard Town or Santos is just, just for the fun of it, you know, and the love of football at that time. So when I find myself I got a physiotherapist and I feel I come out of my pocket, and I feel I got a doctor, and I feel I come out of my pocket, I just say it doesn't make no sense. I like won, I guess. Um, I think warm up. And I did warm up, it came from, from that. And I think you go away. Because sometimes you know you do training and some you do some movements in training. You can you can implement it in dancing and, and the physical part of it help you as a dancer as well. Because the training and everything. So they do warm up and warm up. Elephant and the single warm up dance as well. And I did it was good, but it's a warm up exercise. Football exercise, so and it worked. Um, me, myself, I do now, Christopher Martin, um, Mad Cabra, Mad Cabra, who again? Who again? Yes, call that's it. But we can say, are the best. But I mean, I bought it still, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs>